Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be Baby, I've been so here's all the things that you're going to need, guys. It's all listed on the screen right here. It's all super inexpensive stuff and stuff that you can get for pretty much under $5 each. So you're going to start off with your batting here, and you're just going to rip off a piece. I started with a fairly smaller piece just so I could play around and experiment with it because the bigger the piece, the harder it is to make the cloud. It just takes a little bit more time. So what you're going to do after that is just start pinching and pulling at the piece of batting that you pulled off and just sort of like making holes and twisting around until it sort of creates a cloud-like shape, sort of like what you are seeing here. And you just want to get it so that it stays pretty sturdy and so that it looks like something that resembles a cloud, obviously. And this is what my first one looked like. It was pretty small, so it didn't take me that long. It probably took me like two minutes to form it together. And then what you're going to do is cut a piece of wire. It doesn't have to be too long, uh, just long enough so that you can twist it. So as you can see, this is the size wire that I used, and then I just wrapped it around the pliers themselves and then unwrapped it from there so that you create sort of a spiral effect. And then you're going to take one of the ends of the wire and you're going to create a loop that you can tie the string onto that you're going to attach to your ceiling, just like that. So then what you're going to do is sort of screw the wire into the batting. This is going to create a very secure way of attaching the cloud to your ceiling because that's going to get screwed in there and it's not going to be able to budge. And once you have it on there, you are almost done. Now we're going to go, go ahead, wow, speak Joe. Uh, you're going to go ahead and grab some string. And um, you don't need that long of a piece, but I went ahead and cut a little bit of longer pieces that way I could just trim them to the size that I wanted them to be exactly. And then you're just going to stick it through the loop that you created with the wire and tie it off. So I went ahead and repeated that same process and created three clouds total. Some were bigger, some were a little bit smaller, and you just want to keep playing around with it and pulling at them until it creates a shape that you like. And once I had that done, I was ready to hang them. So I'm using these command hooks that are clear, so they like are pretty much invisible on my ceiling. And I just went ahead and stuck them up there, and then I started hanging my clouds up there. I just tied a little knot and slipped it right onto the hook, and they have been staying perfectly fine ever since I hung them up. I know that there are command clips that sort of close off, that way there's no chance of them slipping off of the hook, but these seem to be working just fine for me. And once I had them all tied up, I sort of made sure that I arranged them. The nice thing with the command hooks is that you can pull them off and reposition them if you didn't like the positioning of what you had originally. And this was my finished product. I think that these are so cute. They add such a cute effect, especially with the maps in my room. I think that they're beautiful. They'd be so cute in a little kid's room too, like above their bed or something. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.